Hello loves. I'm in the middle of changing out my glass front kitchen cabinet to a spring summer theme and I thought it would be fun to take you on that journey. If you're interested in some tips and ideas how to decorate your glass front kitchen cabinet or china cabinet or even a shelving unit, stay tuned. start. I have a few tips that can start you on your way. These tips can be used for china cabinet and a shelving unit. So the first thing you want to do is identify the space. What does this mean? How will the space be used or what's its purpose or function? Many of us use glass cabinets for displaying dishes or glassware, but it can be used for so much more with a little bit of creativity. you want to display a group of collectibles such as silver pieces antiques or chinaware or you have a single collection such as oil bottles teacups or figurines the possibilities are endless it's all about your style and the function of the space So the next tip is clean out everything. It is best to start with a clean slate. This will give you a new focus and a fresh start for ideas and creativity. In my case, I removed everything from the previous winter decor and cleaned the shelves and the glass door. Tip number three, coordinate the look to the room. Pick out a color or a theme or a season. I decided on a seasonal theme for my cabinets, a spring summer design inspired from my favorite flower, magnolias. In the kitchen, it's decorated with the magnolia theme and I will coordinate my glass cabinet to the room. I pulled together pieces I've already had around my home with some of my favorite dishware. Using various levels give your display that professional look and it's so easy and inexpensive to do. Just grab some items to create various heights like stands, boxes, books, even easels will do nicely. Using items like these Dollar Tree utility trays, you can make a beautiful riser for your spring and summer display or any display that you might want to use in the future. You can create something like this. Isn't this gorgeous? Large decor pieces like beverage pitchers, candle holders, cake stands, large platters, or three-tier stand. And don't forget about the lower levels by adding flowers or pigs, plants, or greenery. Even small figurines adds a nice touch. And the last tip, group items by theme, color, or material. There is only one rule when it comes to displaying collectibles or groupings is having a limit. Don't overdo it or it will start to look cluttered. So let's say you have an overabundance of one item like teacups. If you want a collection of oil bottles or antiques or even teacups, go for it. It's a single cohesive group so it will work in your glass cabinet. Another example, a display of white milk glass dishware. This would be also appealing. It's one color and the collection has various heights and scale. So have fun displaying your favorite collectibles 
in your glass front kitchen cabinet. Like I said, the only rule for displaying collectibles or groupings is having a limit. There should be a unifying color or palette, types of material, or a sense of scale and variations. As long as those rules are applied, your display will be professional looking and beautiful. Here is the final look, a gorgeous spring summer theme that has all the tips and roots I shared. The overall look is cohesive in color and theme with an added interest of white here and there. The white picture with the beautiful magnolia flowers and the bowl brings out the white flowers in the dinnerware and glasses. There are different heights and elevation by adding easels, boxes, and low pieces, such as this small white bowl. The look coordinates with my kitchen, and the purpose of this display is to have my collection of magnolia, dinnerware, and glassware where I can enjoy it and easy to access when needed. Well, that will do it for this episode. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you receive some ideas on how to decorate your front glass cabinet, china cabinet, or shelving unit for this season. If you have any pictures you would like to share, put them on Instagram. I would love to look at what you guys come up with and some ideas of how you decorate your cabinet. Until then, see you on the next video. Smooches!